As Amazon continues to evolve and make changes to its platform, it becomes increasingly important for sellers to stay up to date on best practices for creating product listings. With innovative tools like ChatGPT, it's easier than ever to create appealing listings and capture the attention of customers. But creating a product listing on Amazon isn't as simple as just uploading a few photos and writing a description. There are specific guidelines you need to follow to ensure that your listing is well optimized and stands out from the competition. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, product evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to show you how to create a winning product listing on Amazon. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Well, let's get started. Now, how to create an Amazon listing for new products? Creating a high-performing Amazon product listing is not complicated. Let me show you. Follow these steps and you will have your product listings up and running in no time. Firstly, log in to Amazon Seller Central, open the left sidebar and go to Catalog, Add Products. On the Add Product page, you have two options to choose from. First one is I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. Secondly, I'm uploading a file to add multiple products option. Choose the first option when you're listing a new product and the second option to bulk upload products. This is particularly useful for business models like Amazon dropshipping or retail arbitrage. Here we'll choose the first option, select the product category and subcategories. So next choose the appropriate category and subcategory for your product. There are two ways to do that. First is search method. Simply search your product type and choose the category that best suits your product. Secondly, manual method. Choose the parent category from the list and find the subcategories that fit your product. The first and foremost and the most crucial step to kickstart as an Amazon seller is to find a kick-ass product. Amazon product research is all about analyzing current market trends to choose winning items something that can generate high sales. The idea is to search for products that you can get for cheap and yet sell for competitive prices with a good profit margin in return. For instance, you can sell gym socks at $2 for each pair, but if they aren't that good, you will end up getting negative feedback from your customers, eventually generating low sales. Hence, you need to look for those winner products, but also sell high and fetch good positive reviews. If you are unsure about the product, use the SellerApp's product research 2.0 feature to find out the most profitable product to sell on Amazon. For that, you need to log into the SellerApp dashboard. This is how the platform looks like, where all the key actions reflect. Navigate to the product research feature over here. If you are a beginner level seller, looking to expand your portfolio, then this is the perfect feature you're looking at. We have recently upgraded this with smart filters and advanced filters, and I can't wait to show it to you. Simple filters are for beginners. So under this category, we have category and include keywords fields. You can choose any category from the drop down menu and enter the keywords. If you aren't sure about this, you can simply make use of these smart filters, bestseller, low competition, high growth, and custom. I'm selecting bestseller and clicking on search products. The search results will be displayed on the screen. You can also go to edit filters and choose other smart filters. Say for example, custom. Here you get two options, simple and advanced. Under advanced, you get all of these options. Select the desired category, enter the minimum and maximum range for ratings, review count, weight, 
opportunity score, BSR, etc. After filling in all the information, you can also save filter by entering the name so that whenever you visit again, you can continue with your search effortlessly. Now click on search products. Here you'll find the overview section. These values are for page one products. Once you go to page two, the overview values will be different. Now out of all these products, which one will give you the best opportunity to sell on Amazon? Well, that is determined by opportunity score. It determines the sales potential of your product. It seller apps exclusive feature wherein seller app algorithm scores these products based on all these criteria for this product the opportunity score is high and it depends on these factors in order to get high sales potential you need to have a high opportunity score for that you've got to have high demand high revenue potential low competition low overhead cost high profit margin and high pi index now, PIS index is the product innovation scope index which determines the scope of improvement in your product. Apart from this, you have other metrics which will help you to select the best product to sell on Amazon. Additionally, you can also have this column called track product where you can successfully track them to understand the quality and the performance of your listings. In this way, you can easily find out the top products to sell on Amazon. Now moving on to the seller central and the category, I'm selecting baby products. In this, baby and toddler toys are here and I'm selecting rattles and plush rings. Now that categories are selected, it's time to create the listing by filling up product details. Well, the listing information dashboard is divided into seven tabs, product identity, Vital info, variations, offer, images, description, and keywords. Fill in the required details indicated with red boxes in all of these tabs to create your product list. After all the details are filled in, click save and complete to publish your listing on Amazon. Now let's go over every tab to fill up the information. First is product identity information. So in this product identity tab, here are the details you need to enter. First is variations. So these are a group of similar products that only differ based on size, color, etc. Select yes if you want to list different variants of this product. Select no if you don't have any variant of the products or wish to set up only one variant at a time and group them later. Next is product ID. So provide a distinct product ID in this section. These IDs are assigned to each item for effective product recognition. A UPC code is required for sellers based in USA, while those in Europe must have an EAN number. You can get the codes from the GS1 portal. I'm selecting UPC from the drop-down menu and filling in the random ID for the demo. Next, we have a title. This is the product title shoppers uh, would see in the product listing. So the key is to make sure the product name is detailed and consists of relevant keywords. Here are some points to keep in mind while giving the product title. Capitalize the first letter of each word except for prepositions, conjunctions or articles. Keep the title detail with a keyword, brand name or at least one benefit and other details if possible. The recommended title length is 80 to 200 characters. For more details, review the product title requirements as per Amazon guidelines. Follow the criteria to appear in relevant searches and avoid search suppression. Also, please make sure to start the title with your brand name and your primary keyword as Amazon will automatically generate canonical URLs based on the title you give. Next is brand. So in this field, give your brand's name. Amazon may ask you to provide evidence if the brand is not registered. You can submit images of your product and its packaging with your brand name. So here's a pro tip. If you are serious about your e-commerce business, register your brand on Amazon as it also boosts your ranking and even conversion rate. After filling in all the fields, click continue on the next tab in the vital info. 
you need to fill in the manufacturer name. Does your product expire or lose effectiveness over time? Select yes if the product meets one of the following criteria. Has a printed expiration date. Is a topical or consumable product for either human or animal use. Has a recommended shelf life or select no otherwise. Next, select the country or region from where your product originates. Now select the measurement unit for the cumulative content of the product. Here it says, is the item heat sensitive? If the item is heat sensitive, select yes. If it is not, then select no. Later, fill in the required information on material composition, color, color map, uh, maximum manufacturer age, recommended manufacturing, maximum unit of measure, manufacturing minimum unit of measure, number of boxes, material or fabric regulations. Now remember that the vital information required for listing will change based on the selected product categories. Click on save and finish and move to the next tab, variations. Only make changes in the variations tab if you are selling multiple variations of your product, such as different colors or size, materials, etc. This section will allow you to add specific details for each variation which allows you to organize and manage them seamlessly. The options in variations will be different based on the different categories. To simplify the process, here are some variations you'll find on Amazon in general. Design, color, material type, then we have size, team name, unit count, unit of measure, model number and shape. So after choosing the variation type for the fields below, list the variations that exist for your products. Once the variations are done, click on save and finish and move on to the next tab that is offer. In the offer tab, provide the following information such as quantity, enter the number of items you wish to make available for sale. Next is price, determine the product price for sale. Start with a higher price, gauge the response and adjust later. Next is condition. Choose the product's current condition that you intend to sell new, used or otherwise. Fulfillment chart. So now it's time to choose the order fulfillment method. This determines if you will be listed as an Amazon FBA or FBM seller. You have two options, fulfill by Amazon. So Amazon takes care of all the shipping and customer service in exchange for a small fee. First is Merchant Fulfill. You handle shipping and customer service yourself. Now click save and finish and get on to the images tab. Images for your Amazon listing are extremely important. Customers can visually uh, evaluate and compare different features of the products with the images. Add multiple images in the listing that show the product in use from various angles and highlight different features to help shoppers make informed decisions. Here are Amazon guidelines for adding product listings. Also, make a note of this that maximum 9 images are allowed. After uploading the images, click on save and finish and get on to the next tab that is description. We recommend giving a detailed keyword rich description of maximum 2000 characters to help customers understand, evaluate and purchase the product. You can also highlight some important specifications that are not found anywhere. So here are some tips to give a high quality product description. Include brand name, include specifications such as size and color which are based on details give material specifications, include details about packaging and quality, etc. Also, if you are a brand registered seller, add A plus content to your listing to make it more engaging to the shoppers. A plus content can increase conversion rates and boost sales by providing a better understanding of the product and persuading customers to purchase. Learn more about it from the detailed A plus content guide video in the description below. Next, you must add bullet points to the Amazon product listing. So these points appear next to the 
uh, product images and describe your product benefits in detail. You can use relevant keywords in these bullet points to improve your product ranking in the search result. So here are some more tips for creating the bullet points. Start each bullet point with a capital letter. Sellers can add 5 bullet points and vendors are allowed to add 10 bullet points. Write as sentence fragments and do not use any punctuation. Next we have here is CSPIA warning. Use this field to indicate if a cautionary statement relating to the choking hazards of children's toys and games applies to your product. After this, click on save and finish and move on to the last tab, that is keywords. In this, fill up the following two fields, that is target audience, enter your target audience for the product and subject keywords. There are, these are the most important field in your listing. So these are also called as backing keywords. These keywords improve the discoverability of your products and allow you to create a readable product listing while ensuring the listing is indexed for all the relevant keywords. Here are some tips to add these subject keywords. Use only generic words, include synonyms, abbreviations and alternative names for your product. Add only six keywords and the phrases in a logical order of search. Check out our Amazon backend keywords guide in the description to learn more about these keywords. And that's it. After successfully adding all the information, review it and hit the save and finish button to create your Amazon product listing. So far we have learned how to create one Amazon listing. But what if you have hundreds of products to list on Amazon? In that case, adding products on Amazon individually will take a lot of time. Fortunately, Amazon allows you to create multiple product listings with the bulk listing feature. Let's see how. Firstly, in the Add Product page in Seller Central, choose the I'm uploading a file to add multiple products option. Download the Excel template based on your requirements. Amazon provides you the templates for the following situations. List products already in Amazon's catalog. This products not currently in Amazon's catalog. Update price and quantity. Update product details. Not sure if the products are in Amazon's catalog. Select the option relevant to your requirements. Choose the product category and generate a template. Once the template is downloaded, fill in all the columns and upload the spreadsheets to the Seller Central dashboard. You can also check the upload status of your products from the Spreadsheet Upload Status tab. Up until now, you have learned how to create a single product listing and bulk product listing on Amazon. But what if you want to run a resale business on Amazon? In that case, there might be already be an active Amazon product listing for the product you want to sell. But don't worry. Adding your product to an existing listing is quite simple. Head over to the Add Products page on Seller Central. Search for the product you want to list by the product name, UPC, EN, ISBN or ASIN. Select the condition of your product, whether it's new, used or refurbished. Click Sell the product to go to the listing backend. Lastly, enter the selling price, select the product condition Choose the fulfillment method. Once you are finished, just click on save and complete. And there you have it. Your first listing is done. Amazon will assign your listing its own unique ASIN and you will be able to almost immediately view your listing. As you can see, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Once you have got the hang of it, it's a piece of cake actually. If you are still struggling, opt for the seller app listing optimization service. Our mission as enablers is to empower sellers like you and ensure your profitability on the retail giant Amazon. And that's it for this video everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. We have published an in-depth blog on how to create an Amazon product listing, which you can find in the comment section below. 
If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Sarah. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed subtle guides on any specific topic. Please leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!